Hey friends, what's up? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. I hope you guys are doing well. We're going to be rocking and rolling through another discovery set today. And the house that we're going to be checking out is Fragrance Dubois. Fragrance Dubois, a house that I have never really covered before. So uh, we're in for something new here. New for me anyway. So let's go ahead and jump into it. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of fragrances to go over. Let's do it. couple things I want to touch on really quickly before I start cracking into the fragrances. So Fragrance Dubois has reached out to me a number of times through email and Instagram over the past, call it year and a half or so. And essentially each time they say, hey, we want to work with you. We want to send you stuff. And I tell them, OK, that's cool. You can send me something if you want. But and it's a big but nice, big, juicy, but you do need to be aware that just because you send me something, that doesn't mean I'm going to say that it's awesome. I may or I may not feature it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. And the times that they've reached out to me after I've told them that they have said nothing, they ghosted. But this time was a little bit different because they had uh, somebody reach out from a different company in lieu of them reaching out themselves. And they said, hey, we want to send you three fragrances. And they, they listed out the fragrances and they said, we want you to feature these in a video just covering the fragrances, like a haul video kind of deal. Uh, we want you to review uh, the one that you like the most. We'd like you to put one of the fragrances into your summer top 10 niche list. Now, I'm, I'm gonna try to hurry through this. I'm sorry, it's taken so long before we get to the actual fragrances, which is the important part. So I said, uh, like before, if you wanna send the fragrances on, feel free. You know, here's my address, feel free to send them on. But be aware that if I don't like them, I'm gonna say I don't like them. And I'm not going to guarantee that I'm putting them in any list because if I don't think it's good enough to be in the niche top 10 or it's not something I want to wear, I'm not going to do it. And so they responded and they said, well, we appreciate that. We appreciate uh, your viewpoint on it and everything. What we want to do is send you a discovery set and you tell us what you like from it and we'll send that to you. So what we're going to do here in uh, the interest of full transparency is we're going to work through the discovery set together because uh, one of the things that is a little bit of a red flag to me is when somebody has sent a discovery set and they pick their absolute favorite from the bunch. Don't talk about the other ones uh, that they didn't like at all. So we're going to work through them together. And if I don't like it, you'll see. But be aware that there is a possibility, assuming that Fragrance Dubois doesn't get super angry at me for doing this, uh, that they do send on my favorite of the bunch. So let's see. All right. So this is the... Uh, Fragrance Dubois, uh, we love discovery set. I have not checked any of these out yet. We're we're doing it here together. First up is Oud Vert Intense. And I'm gonna have to use tester strips, 10 fragrances. Uh, I can't spray it on 10 different spots here. So forgive me, but tester strips is the way we're doing it today. Very sparkly, uh, reminds me almost of like an alcoholic beverage, like a, a cocktail of sorts. Yeah, like a gingery kind of cocktail. I, I don't have any of the notes for any of these, so we're just kind of we're flying by the seat of my pants here. Not really oody here in the opening, more spicy, um, sweet, zingy, warm, definitely warm, um, a, a little bit aromatic, decently fresh, all things considered for a fragrance that has oud and intense in the name. Uh, this smells really good. <laughs> this one's really, really nice. So we're starting off strong. Quality is there. Uh, reminds me uh, vaguely of like Voyage d'Hermes, which is a fragrance that I like a lot that I've talked about on the channel a few times. So we're starting off good. That one's really nice. Thumbs up. But we have nine more to go, so I've got to keep it moving. I apologize, guys. I'm not going to be able to go into great detail here or else this video is going to be like 45 minutes long. Oud Noir Intense is next. OK, yeah, this has a little bit more of that that oudiness that you would expect, whereas the last one had oud in the name. But then when you smelled it, at least off a strip in the opening, which you know, doesn't tell the full story by any stretch of the imagination. But that one, it didn't really have that oodiness. This one, it does. It's straddling that line. It's not really going too far to the uh, fecal side of things, the animalic side of things. It's got a, a little pungency to it, but not too bad. A little bit of warm spiciness going on here as well. 
It's um, it's like a little bit of a more intense version of like Tom Ford's Oud Wood. It's like if you wanted Oud Wood to have a little bit more of an animalic punch to it and to have a little more pop overall. Yeah, something like this. I like the last one more a little bit. That one's good too. What have we got next? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Amber Intense. A lot of intenses here, a lot of intensity. All right, let's see how she is. Making sure to really saturate that tester strip. Yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. Hear me out. It's reminding me a little bit of a bathroom. Yeah, yeah, kind of a, a bathroom smell. It's, it's like when you go into a, a large, a large bathroom that has just been cleaned a little bit and has like some air freshener in the air and it's got a little bit of a powderiness to it, like a syrupy medicinal kind of thing underneath it. It's a fragrance that I both at once dislike and like. I dislike it because I would not wear that ever. And then I like it because it's reminding me of, 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 a, of a clean bathroom and I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like it's it's like reminding me of going into a bathroom at Disney World or something. Ah, yeah, that's um, I don't like it. What do we got next? We have ba -ba -ba, Parisian. Let's check it out. What mysterious secrets do you hold, Parisian? Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that is that like cardamom again? Uh, it's like a lot of cardamom in these. Another warm, spicy, oody type of fragrance. So more in line with the first couple uh, that we smelled here. I like what this one's doing though. This one is a really nice one, very classy. Got a little bit more of a smokiness going on here that I didn't pick up in the other ones. Really like that. A little bit dark, but sexy. Yeah, that's really good. All right, what do we got next? Siberian Rose. Yeah, that's not bad, but that's that's not going to be for me. That's not going to be the one. It's not bad, though. <laughs> First sniff, I was kind of bleh, but it grows on you a little bit. It's definitely feminine leaning, which, you know, you have a fragrance named Siberian Rose, you automatically would assume it's, it's probably going to be leaning a bit femme. It's not really straight up rose, though. Not as much as I was expecting it to be. A little bit powdery, heavy on the tuberose. Yeah, that's not for me. Also, don't think my wife would wear it. She's not huge on... Uh, Floral fragrances for, for ladies. Don't dig it. Next up, uh, Santal Complete. And this one I actually own, so I know how this one smells, but let's spray it anyway. This is one of the hype fragrances from the house, <laughs> one of the hype beasts, and it's good. It's really nice. Uh, maybe it does lean a little feminine for my personal taste. Powdery, sweet, tropical, coconut. Uh, those are really the kind of the, the first things that pop into my mind. Um, Santal, in the name, you would think it's gonna be really heavy on sandalwood, but especially initially, it's not. And that's where I kind of you know, fall away from this one. So that one I got, and like I said, the only one that I own from the house and uh, not really terribly in love with it, which is why I've never featured it before. So obviously that's not gonna be the one. Also because I already own it. What do we got next? Cannabis Intense. What do you have in store for me, Cannabis Intense? It's like a prickly green kind of scent. It, it like tingles your nose hairs. A little bit of a dry grassiness, kind of like a vetiver undertone to me. Yeah, it's actually coming across more to me green, dry, grassy vetiver than anything. Like a fresh spiciness to it, but very woody. So this like grassy, dry woodiness is what I'm pulling from it. And as it settles down, that, that kind of prickly green feel that you get off the top, that kind of fades away more into the woods. Cannabis, um, I don't know. <laughs> So if you go into it and you're really wanting like a, a strong cannabis scent profile, uh, it's probably not gonna do it for you. But the fragrance itself, I think smells really good. Uh, not gonna be one of the winners here, I don't think, but it's solid. New York Fifth Avenue, next up. And we got two more after that. So I don't mean this in a, a bad way or a negative way, but it reminds me uh, vaguely of like the, the that syrupy, kind of sweetness that you would find in a Montal kind of fragrance. I'd say unisex leaning feminine with this one. Uh, very sweet, kind of fruity floral sweetness. I wouldn't wear it myself. I'm trying to weed this down to like the fragrances I myself would want to own and want to wear. And that one is not one. It, it smells better to me than um, Amber Intense did and, and Siberian Rose. Like those ones I wouldn't 
I would never, ever, ever wear that one. Like maybe I could, but compare it to a lot of these others. Nah. New York Intense, <laughs> next up. Intense. It's like a woody, pencily, spicy, sharply tart and, and fruity. And now kind of a sweetness, a balsamic sweetness coming out underneath. Mmm. What is this reminding me of? Like Jubilation 25 or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's funny. I was going to go, this is one of the best ones I've smelled. Whoa. And then the more I smell it and it, it starts to open up, the more I go, I think I've smelled something like this before. That's really good, though. That is really good. That, that mm, I'll go back through them, but that might be my favorite. All right. What do we have in store for the last one here? It is Milano. And I, I, I ran out of the big... Big strips, I only have a little one. Let's go. Hmm, what is, oh, hmm. Really interesting, it kind of slapped my nose this way and then punched it back the other way. <laughs> I don't, I don't exactly know what I was smelling there. It was like powdery and watery and sweet at the same time, like florals and cucumber. I don't even know. This is strange. I like parts of this. I hate parts of this. It's reminding me of like a less sickeningly sweet semi-powdery Herba Pura from Zerzhov slash Suspiro. I struggled to get that out. It's reminding me of that, and I hate that fragrance. The more this goes, I don't really like it. So where do we stand? Um, let me gather up the ones that I like the most, and we'll, we'll see what my favorites are. So one, two, three, four, five. We got like five contenders here. We'll run through them. Oud Ver Intense. Ooh, that's really good. Not Oudy though, but that's really good. It's got this sparkly, sweet spiciness that I'm really drawn to. So solid. Oud Noir Intense. I like it. Still Tom Ford Oud Woody. Mm, more of a bite to it, like I said before, for sure. This touch of like additional spice and almost like varnished wood coming out underneath. I like that, but I don't think as much as the other one. Parisian, that's really good too. Dang. That one and Oud Fair Intense in the lead. Cannabis Intense. It's like barely there compared to the other ones. That could just be me, but it's, it's definitely not coming off the tester strip like these other ones are. I like it, but not as much as the others. New York Intense. Good. Real good. <sighs> I'm not gonna pick a favorite from those three. Um, those are the three best in my opinion. New York Intense has a, a Jubilation 25 kind of vibe to it. It's really rich, well done. Not too sweet. Yeah, just the type of fragrance you wanna smell over and over again. Oud Ver Intense has this, this real sparkle to it, like a champagne sparkle of spices that I think is, is fantastic. And then Parisian, man, it, it's a really appealing, like just, just the slightest hint of this like tang to it that, that just really makes you want to go in over and over again. I know it doesn't seem like it, uh, but I have been sitting here for a long, long, long time running through these. I try to cut it down as much as possible. Do keep in mind, first impressions off of tester strips and um, it's not the best way to go about testing things long term. Uh, but in you know this type of format it's it's the best that i can do so keep in mind that these could change off skin and i'll try them out on skin and i'll see how they differ and we'll see how it goes but right now i feel pretty strongly about the three that i like the most and the ones that i didn't really mention uh, toward the end there I'm, I'm pretty confident that even off skin those wouldn't be ones that i would go for i certainly yeah, if I were testing these and, and ordering them and stuff like that, they wouldn't be on the short list at all. So take that for what it's worth. Let me know in the comments uh, your fragrance dupe watch hoises. If you are familiar with the brand, if you've smelled fragrances from the brand, if you haven't, which ones you'd like to. Thank you for hanging with me and I'll see you again another day. See you guys.